Okay, so new day, new part of the challenge. I said that I had to get my area cleared out, my bed cleared out, and I did, as you can see, cleared out pretty well in the back. So I also did some studies on your case, and I knew some of it, but I discovered a few things. Thank goodness I'm crafty and creative. Because I have these little bells like a music instrument. And the music instrument itself needed to be fixed. It was just a child's instrument. So I took out the bells. They were all uh, screwed into this piece of wood. So I took them out. And now I have these bells that I can put into toys so that she can play with it. They like to have noisy and crunchy and, you know, those squeak toys and crunch toys, you know, that crinkle. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be making those here in the next few days and posting them on my channel that's about ASMR, which is, um, it's, it's calming. It's meant to be soothing and relaxing and I just figured that would be a really good thing to post on there as I start to create things. I also learned that you need to have a ramp or a, a step, a simple step from the bed because she's going to be too small to be able to get down off the bed on her own. And I don't want her to be stuck. I want her to be able to get my attention and to be able to do things a little bit on her own and kind of give me guidance. It's going to be a lot of learning and education here. Um, I remember with my last baby, he was 14 pounds when he passed and she's not going to go past 10 or at least not supposed to. So um, it's going to be very, very interesting. So the first step was to start getting clean, things cleared out. I've started to get things organized, I've started to get things cleared out, learned what the main household, what their expectations are for keeping the main part of the house in a solid, um, regular movement. Been working on building my strength up because I'm going to need to take her for walks and I've been using a lot of a wheelchair and the medical professionals don't want me using a wheelchair, uh, they want me to walk. They said, that's the only way you're going to build your muscle, so, and I've got to build it up. So, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, before this surgery happened, I was walking all the time. I was um, walking with thugs. I was walking on my own. I used a walker, like a stroller style thing. But, um, I, I was using those like a walker because my ankle hurt. Now my ankle doesn't hurt. It just aches after a while if I've moved too much, which means I need to stop, relax, and get back on to the regular building up of the muscle again. My uh, physical therapist was feeling badly that I even got the surgery, and I corrected her right away and said, uh-uh. I'm so happy I got that surgery because it pops, but it doesn't hurt. It pops and then it's done. Now, the rest of my body pops and I was told that's because the muscles need to be strengthened back up again. Once they're strengthened back up again, then the, the popping will slowly dis dissipate. So. Today, of course, was all about snow, so now I get to plan on getting things creative, and the night's filled with snow, so it's not a problem. I just keep pushing through, I keep working it up. Um, I have some things to create, some things to prepare. And I'm really kind of excited about it. So it's a reminder to me of what I did for my baby, my last fur baby. 
and kind of forgot. But this time, my Bella, she's going to be a lot more dainty and delicate than my last fur baby. Smaller, different style of hair, different everything. So I have to make adjustments because she's going to be able to, from the looks of it, fit in the palms of my hand. So um, she's not going to be able to jump a lot. I mean, she will try. She'll try a lot of things um, like terriers do. So it's going to be a very interesting process. I have got all my recycling pretty much cleared up. I made the decision I need to get my recycling cleared out because we've got snow in the forecast and I don't want to get stuck. I told them as long as I got food set up and I got my water set up, the rest of it, I just stay around here and I use my creative genius and I create some things and share those things. So that's what I'm going to do and that's what today was. Getting creative, getting clearing, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Next is my office area. May even show some video of it. But this is my first video of my bed. And yeah, there's still a couple of things there, but they're a part of my office area that I'm going to get fixed up. So that'll go away with it. its books and stuff. But still, need to organize until tomorrow.